morning it's the uh, 27th of september uh here in the uk um it's just cooling down a bit now so it's autumn's coming really but we're just planting a bit of uh, organic rye we're gonna we direct drilled it last year into a uh, bean stubble um and i was relatively pleased with the results so we're doing it again um i think it's going all right uh, we've got the sheep the sheep are grazing on here at the moment um and I'll film Sam in a second when he comes round. He's just he's just doing the outsides of the field at the moment, so we'll have a look again in a minute. So yeah, I've got the sheep grazing here at the moment. Uh, I'll leave these in here while we're uh, while we're planting the crop, and I'll probably, as long as it doesn't rain, I'll leave them here afterwards. They can roll it in really. Um, but anyway, we'll have a look at what what Sam's put in so far. I'm not putting it too deep because Rye doesn't like, apparently Rye doesn't like being in too deep, so we'll have a look. There's no, there's no dressing on this seed, so it's quite hard to find. Well, there's a bit already. So the drill's just making a little slot and leaving it in there. There will be some more. And there. And there. So it's not going badly. Uh, I'd like it to... I'd like the seed to germinate and get going fairly quickly if we can. Oh, that's the plan anyway. Uh, there's quite a bit of this uh, this knotweed stuff around. I don't know if you can see it, see it there. Uh, the sheep are the sheep are actually eating that, so I'm quite. If they can stay on and eat that, that's great. I don't think it's actually uh, winter hardy. I think a good frost that stuff dies anyway, and I don't really want to bury the seeds from it. There's also some. Uh, uh, volunteer oil seed rapes that's um oil seed rape that's grown back from the previous crop because this crop was a this last year this was a dual crop of uh, beans and oil seed rape uh, i certainly didn't want to plow the any uh spilt rape seed under the soil because that could be a problem for years to come so but i'm kind of thinking i'll graze this really hard um at some point throughout the winter and i think the sheep will really like the oil seed rape um, and so I think the rye is very vigorous and if we graze the rape back really hard hopefully the rye will get, will get ahead of it. It wasn't a problem last year, you could barely find any oilseed rape um, in the in the rye. There's a, bit of, well, there's a bit of clover growing in here as well which I'm quite happy about. I think the rape will be, I think the rye will stay well ahead of the um, of the uh, clover anyway. There's, there's not a lot but it might as well be there really. So I'll, I'll probably put a cover crop in here after the rye next harvest anyway. But some quite thick mats of knot grass. Uh, the drill does seem to be getting through it all right. Uh, I'm just hoping I'm right that it does that the uh, winter does kill it off. But like I say, the sheep. I've been watching the sheep quite intently, uh, and they are eating it. It's quite stringy stuff. I didn't think they would have eaten it, but um, but they are. So. Um, and if it's not too wet, and once the rye's out, it's not impossible I could stick the sheep on again and just let them keep nibbling at it, uh, if I think they're doing a good job. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll go, fi go and film now anyway, as he, film Sam now as he, as he drives past. Sheep are also leaving a bit of, uh, a decent bit of muck for us there, look. So they're, uh, they're helping us to recycle a few nutrients anyway. Uh, the other thing is with it being a bean stubble theoretically there should be some nitrogen left in this soil from the beans i do think if we plow this we probably lose a reasonable bit of that nitrogen out of the soil i might be wrong but i think by direct drilling it we're probably not losing it um and you can stick your trowel it's stone here so it's hard to get your trowel in but the trowel's going into the soil Fairly easy for us, uh, in fact, very easy in places. So there's definitely, there's definitely air down there in the soil anyway. So anyway, let's see, I'll film Sam in a second doing a bit of drilling anyway. Doesn't take a lot of power that drill at all. On level going, you could pull a six meter, I think, with that tractor.
stabilization. Nice day again. Just a bit chilly. You usually drill the headlands first with this uh, drill. I'm not sure why it seems to work best. We'll see if we get away from it soon. Doing there you go. We'll do a bit of filming from in the cab as well. Got Stan with us today, haven't we, Stan? Alright, yeah. Oh, there he is. That's a close up on Stan. Close up on Sam. Sam's feeling a bit shy. Drilling with GPS again, so we don't we don't use markers. But I have tried with this drill, but we don't use them, do we, Sam? No. Um, once you've done your outside run, uh, you can yeah, you can let the tractor steer itself. All right, usually go around eight times, don't we, Sam? Yeah. Seems a lot of because it's only a three meter drill. Eight times is a lot of times around, but it gives you plenty of room to turn around. Thing we've noticed, Sam, is that Sam's been looking at the uh, data for our YouTube channel, haven't you, Sam? It appears a lot of our uh, our uh, what our um, viewers are uh, reasonably old, which is great. So we're not certain. Maybe I'll edit that bit out. <laughs> last video it appears that uh, older people prefer ploughing to direct drilling I think which is fair enough there's more nostalgia more feeling everything isn't it I'll shut up now <laughs> 